Hey guys, we have been given a slope and a point, and we want to figure out what the line, uh, what the equation for this line is, okay? That has this slope and this point. So if you're not used to it yet, when we are talking linear equations, we oftentimes label slope with an M, okay? So if you see M, it means slope, okay? So my slope is eight, and we want this line to pass through the point one, two, okay? I could try to graph this, right? Plot one, two, and it, you know, it might be a little complicated that way. So luckily, somebody figured out this fancy little thing called point slope form, okay? Which means if I have a point and a slope, which I have, I can use this to figure out the equation, okay? So let's use it. When I am plugging this in, my y, this y, is going to stay a y, and this x is going to stay an x, okay? The x1 and y1 come from here, and the m comes from here, okay? So we know our m. Remember, when we have an ordered pair, the first number is an x, the second number is the y, okay? Now, they're labeled with these ones to keep them separate from these ones, so I'm going to label them as x1 and y1, okay? Now we are just plugging these in, okay? So this one stays a Y. So I'm gonna have Y minus Y1, which is two, equals M, which is eight, times X minus X1, which is one, okay? Now you might be like, sweet, I'm done. Not quite. We like to simplify things in math. We wanna get this into, um, slope intercept form okay this is probably the one you're used to seeing get used to this baby you're gonna be seeing it a lot okay so we want it to have y alone this is almost I say almost almost 100% of the time this is how you're gonna want your answer when we're talking linear equations okay so we want x alone oh my gosh y alone sorry guys <laughs> we want y alone so when I am simplifying this or working it out Normally, I would do what's inside the parentheses first via the order of operations, right? But they're not like terms, meaning I don't know what X minus one is, right? But how I get around that is the distributive property, okay? Stick with me if this sounds complicated. You've probably been doing it, okay? It just means eight is being multiplied by this, and I can multiply it by the X and then the negative one, okay? So if I do that, I still have Y minus two over here. Then eight times X gives me eight X. Eight times a negative one gives me negative eight. Okay, we're getting closer, right? The parentheses are gone, we're feeling good. But I want Y by itself. So to get rid of a negative two, I'm going to add two. Why? Because then they go away. But I can't just add two. If I add two to this side, I gotta add two to this side to keep my equation balanced, right? Okay, when I do that, I'm left on this side with just a Y, yay! So we have Y equals eight X, negative eight plus two. This is like, I owe you $8 and I'm like, I don't have it all, but I have $2 I can give you right now. So how much do I still owe you? I still owe you $6, so negative six, okay? That is our equation. See how it is now in slope intercept form. That is my slope. That is my y-intercept, okay? So if we were to graph this line, we could, if we want to, to check ourselves. It should have a slope of 8, and it should cross the point 1, 2, okay? All right, I have another example with a fraction, heaven forbid, that I will link um, if you need another example. But hopefully that made sense. Bye!